tribes within these countries eat dog meat. Some people within these countries eat some pet and stray dogs out of poverty. And these countries eat dogs as a staple food. Activists guess that 10 million dogs are consumed in China per year as opposed to somewhere between 2.6 to 5 million dogs in Vietnam and 2 to 5 million dogs in South Korea. No one knows the exact figures. If these figures are accurate, when factoring in population, South Koreans eat between 40 and 50 dogs per 1,000 people each year. Vietnamese eat between 30 and 55. And the Chinese, well, they eat a poultry 6 to 8. Activists guess around 70% of the dogs used to supply the dog meat trade in China and Vietnam are strays or stolen pets. In South Korea, dogs are raised by professional dog farmers, with most farms having around 1,000 dogs. They have a large dog meat association who is currently lobbying the government to promote and expand the dog meat industry. The South Korean government recognised dog farming as an industry, and as of 2016, more than 8,700 dog farmers have voluntarily registered their farms with the government. This makes the South Korean government the only government in the world to recognise dog farming as a profession and legitimise the Dog Meat Association as a professional farming union. The Dog Meat Association would love to screen advertisements on primetime TV, increase consumption and have their products available for purchase in supermarkets. All this adds up to make South Korea the global leader of dog meat. Korea is number one.